Good morning. Today's lesson is on the checkerboard multiplication mat. This mat is wonderful because it really teaches place value in a bit of a more abstract way. Um, in Montessori, the colors denote the place value. So all the children in our school know that green is for units, tens are blue, hundreds are red, and then the pattern repeats. So this is the simple family, units, tens, hundreds, here's the thousand family, thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, here's the million family, million, ten million, hundred million, and it goes up as well. So units, tens, hundreds, thousands, and as you can see, the place value um, increases this way and this way so that when you form a diagonal, that's the same place value. So this is 10, and this is also 10. This is 100, this is 100, this is 100, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, and so on. So when you are working with your child on this material using the paper version that we have uploaded to Google Share Docs, um, <clears throat> you will be you will be playing a game with them first if they don't know this mat which I think most of our elementary students do but here's the game that I always play with them to start them off is I want them to understand that if we place a bead on any of these colors on any of these squares that changes the hierarchy of that bead so right now this bead is six our, our Purple beads are always six, and children know that. So if I place it here, that is six. Well, what if I place it here? That's now 60. What if I place it here? Well, now that's 600. If I continue on, it will be 6,000 and 60,000, 600,000, 6 million, 60 million, 600 million and all the way around. So if it were up here, it would still be 600. Once children understand that, then we can proceed. And what we do is we show them how to build their numbers. So we have this big problem here called, it's 2,349 times 32. So, and I'm not gonna show them the algorithmic way on the first pass. Of course, we just use the beads. So. We're going to use these numerals to tell us what kind of bead we're going to get. And then the 32 will be our multiplicand over here. And that will tell us how many of those beads we will get. So let's continue. So I'm going to make my multiplicand over here, 32. I'm sorry, that's the multiplier. This is the multiplicand and this is the multiplier. So 32, I'm looking for a three. Aha, 30. And now I'm looking for a two. These are hard to find sometimes. So now I have my numerals 2,349 times 32. Okay, so let's build the number. So I need what kind of bead? Oh, that's a nine bead. And I will need two of them. Okay? Now I'll need a four bead. And again, I will need two of them. You have paper colored beads in the Google Drive that you can print and cut out and use on your paper multiplication mat, if you would like to. Now we'll move on and here is, this is telling me I need the three bead and I still need two of them. This tells me I need to get the two bead and again, I need two of them. Now we're gonna move up. Now we're multiplying by the tens. I'm gonna get nine again, but now I need three of them. I need the four bead again. This time I need three. I need the three. 
three beads again. Start again. I will need three. So I think I will need three of the two beads. Okay, so now we have we have laid out our beads. Now it's time to find our partial products. Well, we know our doubles. Certainly we know our doubles. So nine times two, that's 18. And what I do with the children is I actually get 18. So a 10 and an eight. And I place them here and then we talk about, is it okay for us to have tens in any of the place values? And the children say, of course, no. And then we say this together. This is one of our mantras. 10 of these is the same as one of these over here. So I could have 10 here, but I can exchange that for one over here. Okay, so now I have four times two, which, oh, I know my doubles, that's eight. There's my eight, but uh-oh, I for can't forget about this extra one. So I have to exchange my eight and one, combine them to make nine. I know my doubles. Two threes makes a six. Two times two, that's four. Okay, so my first partial product reads 4,698. Let's find our second partial product. Eventually we will write these down, but at first we just do the beads. Okay, we've learned our times tables, and I know that nine times three is 27. Okay, so let's get 27. Here is 27. Can I have tens in that place value? Absolutely not. I'm going to exchange these two 10 bars for a two bead and place it to the left of our tens place. I carried over that two into my hundreds place. Now I know that four times three, that's 12 plus two, that is 14. So here we go. I know that I cannot have a 10 here, so I'm going to carry over my one into the thousands place. So this was my 14. Now I have three times three, which is nine. Oh, plus one. I know my combinations of 10. Nine and one is 10. But can we do that? No, we cannot. 10 of these is the same as one. Now I have two times three plus one. Well, two times three, that's easy. We can even count by twos if we're not sure. Two, four, six, plus one is seven. So I will exchange a seven. Notice I don't have anything here, so that's a zero. So my second partial product is 70,470. Okay, so now we are going to slide our beads and we're gonna combine them. This is the adding part that we do when we add our two partial products together. I don't need to do anything here, but I do need to put those together and come up with one bead in that spot. So nine plus seven. Well, if we think about our friendly numbers, this is something we do a lot. We try to get our kiddos to think in terms of friendly numbers. So I know if I take one of these beads from my seven, that will make 10. And I know anything plus 10 is easy it, when we're counting teens. So here we have 10 plus six, well that's 16. So we're going to get my 16, but oh, we can't do that. So I'm going to exchange and carry that one. Now I know, let's see. Let's talk about friendly numbers again. Six and four, boom, we know that is a combination of 10 plus one. So six plus four is 10 plus one, that's 11. So I will get 11. Now I could get 11, but I know I'm gonna carry this. So here comes my 11, right? 
And then four plus one, that's five. That's easy. So that's our five bead. And then I didn't need to do anything there. So my answer is 75,168. You have to remember to ignore the numbers at the bottom. So again, I'll say this again. 75,168. And that's how we do checkerboard math.